Statistics, Paper 31, Mathematics, Monday, 19 October 2020. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. Question number one. The Venn diagram shows the probabilities associated with four events, A, B, C, and D. Write down any pair of mutually exclusive events from A, B, C, and D. So mutually exclusive events when A intersection C is equal to zero or probability of A intersection C equals to zero. There's nothing between A and C. They don't intersect at all. A is on the side. That's A there and that's C. So A and C is one pair. D and B. That's D there. D and B. That's D there in the green, small green circle there. And that's B there. So D and B. And then D and C. That's D there in the green circle. And that's C there. So D and C as well. Given that probability of B is equal to 0 0.4, find the value of P. When we look at B, everything inside B there, it tells us that everything inside B, the total probability is 0 0.4. So the total probability in B is 0 0.4 because that is B there. So we want to find P. So it would be 0 0.4 minus 0 0.07 and minus 0.24, so P would be 0 0.09. Given also that A and B are independent, find the value of Q. For independent events, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. So probability of A intersection B is probability of A times probability of B. So we have probability of A times the probability of B, which is 0.4, is equal to 0 0.24. Now, the probability of A is point Q plus 0.16 plus 0.24 times 0.4 equals to 0 0.24. So what we want to do, 0.16 plus 0.24 gives you 0.4. And times 0 0.4 goes to the right, it becomes divided by 0 0.4. So 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.4 gives 0 0.6. And the plus 0 0.4 goes to the right, it becomes minus. So 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4, it gives you 0 0.20. Given for the that probability of B dash, given that C, given C is equal to 0 0.64, find the value of R. So we're going to use probability of B given A is equal to probability of B intersection A divided by probability of A. So probability of B dash given C is equal to probability of B prime or dash intersection C divided by probability of C. And so the probability of B dash given C is 0 0.64 is given in the question. Now probability of everything outside B intersection C so everything outside B, that's everything outside B, I've shaded there. Everything outside B. And intersection C would be the part that is, is, is in C. And that's just R. Divided by probability of C, everything inside C. Everything inside C is R plus P, because that's everything inside C. Now we know P is 0 0.9 from part A. So we sub in 0 0.9. And to solve this, we cross multiply. So you would have 0 0.64 times R plus 0 0.09 equals to R. You remove the brackets, 0 0.64 times R, 0 0.64 times 0 0.09, 
0 0.50576 equals to r. Now you take 0 0.64 r to the right hand side, it becomes minus. Now you factorize, r is common, r is common, so it goes out of the bracket. So it comes r bracket one minus 0 0.64. It's times there, you take it to that side, it becomes divide. So R is point zero five seven six divided by one minus zero point six four. That gives R to be zero point one six. Find the value of S. So total probability is always one. So that means if you add everything in which I've colored green there, everything which is colored there green plus whatever is outside which is called s that would be one so that means q plus 0.16 plus 0.24 plus 0 0.07 plus p plus r plus s is equals to one watch this again q plus 0.16 plus 0.24 plus 0 0.07 plus p plus r plus s is equals to one. Add all of them, you get one. So let's add all the numbers. Q is 0 0.20, P is 0 0.09. So an arrow is 0 0.16. We sub in those values. And when we add all these numbers, you get 0.92. So 0 0.92 plus S equals to one. So S is equals to one minus 0 0.92 which is gives you s equals to 0 0.08 that's your question 1a question 1b and c question 1d part 1 and finally question 1d part 2